three pitcher, and that, they both of them can be mighty troublesome to a pitcher. And there they go off with the pitch, running like hens will open. Looks like a hit and run. Only Georgie McQuinn, he only caught part of the ball, and it was the wrong part. And there it goes, ricketting off the dugout fence for a foul, and the runners are going back to their respectable bases. And so it's McQuinn, still up at bat for the Brownies. Georgie always reminds me in that batter's box like I remind myself of me when I was pitching. Very confidential at all times. Last time Georgie got on base, he might have scored on Hefner's single if he'd have slugged, but he didn't, and he was out by a heifer step. Well, what do you know? Georgie swang and slapped the breeze. Chances are now they'll give him something not too good, unless they figure that's what he's figuring. But then, he might be figuring they're figuring that's what he's figuring. So if they start figuring that he's figuring that they're figuring that's what he's figuring. Folks, it's a shame, but Georgie just struck out. And so that's the end of the Browns rally. And come to think of it, the end of the ball game. And come to think of it, the end of me for today, except in form of summing up. Well, it was a great game with everybody giving it everything they had. And you can't do no more than that, and you never should do no less. And for them that wasn't listening in earlier, I'm going to make it a point tomorrow of repeating my receipt for Ozark Rabbit Stew. That's for you ladies, what ain't catched on to the fine points of baseball as yet, technologically speaking. <laughs>